Hi there, my name is Brittany and I'm the Senior Community and Education Manager here at Evernote. One of the biggest questions we get asked pretty often is how do you use Evernote at Evernote? And the answer is many of us use it in very different ways. Most recently, I have adapted a new system for my to-do list workflow, combining some of recurring tasks and some key task features like due dates and flags to help me stay on top of my day-to-day, week-to-week, and month-to-month tasks. I've been using this system now for about seven weeks and it's working really well for me. So I thought I'd share it with you guys and give you an inspiration on ways to use tasks in Evernote. I'm really excited to show you my workflow, so let's dig in. To show you my workflow, I thought I would show you first how I've set it up and then how it can be sustainable and used moving forward. So the first thing that I did was manage my recurring tasks in a notebook. So I'm going to create a new notebook for weekly recurring tasks. From here, I'll create my new note and I'll create a note for every day of the week. So there's Monday, Tuesday, and so on. I have all of my days of the week set up in my weekly recurring tasks notebook. I'm going to go through and create recurring tasks for all of the things I do on each of these days that I need to remember to do. For example, every Monday I like to browse social networks for new Evernote mentions. Now, to create the recurring task, I'll set the due date for today, Monday. Now, when it asks me, does it repeat? I'm going to put every week, weekly on Monday and hit done. Now, every time it's a Monday, this will pop up to the top of my to-do list, but more on that in a minute. Let's finish setting up these weekly recurring tasks. Now that I am almost finished setting up my weekly recurring tasks, I'm ready to move on to the next step. The next thing that I need to set up in my workflow personally is my one-off task list. So these are things that come up throughout the week that I don't do on a recurring basis. What I've done to really keep myself organized is create a notebook for my weekly task list. Now in this notebook, I will create a note for each week of the month. Let's get started. Now that I have my weekly task list notes set up in my notebook, you'll see I only did a few weeks ahead. Uh, this is because for me personally, seeing a long list of tasks is pretty overwhelming. So I really like to condense into what I can reasonably do in the week and what I hope to do in the week. So let me give you an example of a weekly task list that I have set up. So now that I'm caught up on the tasks that I'm going to do this week, like I mentioned, I also like to have a little bit of a backup wish list in case I have extra time to accomplish more. Now, to keep on track with my weekly task list note, whenever I complete something, I like to mark it complete and drag it down to my done section. And that way it's just out of my view altogether. Why do I do that, you ask? I like to keep this note pinned to home. So let's head on over to home and see what this looks like from my home base. From home, you can see that I have it arranged in my tasks that all of my tasks have a due date. So that means that they're showing up in my task widget in the order in which I should do them. Things that I have to do on Friday in my task list aren't showing up ahead of my recurring tasks in my weekly task lists. So what I like to do is select a note to pin and I will select my note for this week and pin. Now I can also easily have a quick view of what I need to do just this week instead of having to scroll through the widget to look through my recurring tasks and my task list. And if I need to jump into this note, I can quickly get there. 
most about my process is my ability to really manage my day-to-day work from home directly. Not only do I have access to see my calendar, but I also have my tasks showing up in my task widget by default in the order in which I need to do them. There's never any guesswork. So at one o'clock when I don't have anything on my calendar, I can look at my widget and say, okay, this is my time where I should go and update the forums. Once I do that, I can mark that task complete and it auto resets to the next Monday. Now, whenever I have downtime and I'm not really sure what else to do, I can head over to my pinned note and see what I can do feasibly in this moment. So let's say for today, I have already accomplished both of these tasks and I can move them down into my done section. So I have everything I can do tomorrow, which I could get a head start on today, or I could pull up one of my ideas and start working on them. So I can pull this task up here, give it a due date of today, and say I'm gonna go ahead and accomplish this now. Now I love using Home for my main dashboard. What I like to do is link all of my calendar events to notes so I know exactly what I need to do at this time. So for example, say this is a meeting and I am recording my using Evernote video. My next, my next task or action item out of this meeting will be to edit the Evernote video. I will set a due date of that for Friday and hit done. However, this is still in this meeting note with all the context that I need from the recording session itself. When I get ready to go do this task, I can look at my notes and I can either move this note over into my weekly task note or instead I can simply add a flag and when I do so, to make sure I never forget to do a task that's in a note that's not my weekly recurring or my weekly tasks, flags help surface this important information on your task widget. So now you can see that even though there are a few things prioritized ahead of it that are due today or tomorrow, um, the edit Evernote video is prioritized ahead of that because even though it's due Friday, it's still important. And so it's showing up higher in my list to make sure that I don't miss it. This is extremely helpful and useful in my workflow. For me personally, I do like to ultimately move this task into a different note because I love seeing how much I've accomplished each week. So now it's Friday. I'm looking at my task list and it is almost done. I'm looking at my task widget. I have two things left to do before the end of the day today. To complete my weekly task notes and reflections, what I like to do is take a look at my pin note and see what I was able to accomplish this week and what I wasn't able to accomplish this week because I might need to move it out just a week. Now, I'm able to hit my goal of finishing my post draft on Friday. So I'll be able to move that down to the bottom, but I don't wanna lose these wish list tasks that I eventually need to get done, but they don't necessarily have a hard deadline. So what I'll do is I will pull them up and move them into a different week's note. So obviously I'm gonna bump them out one week to 7.18. Now that they're moved to my next week's note, I can look at my next week's note and see immediately a head start of what I'm going to do. If, for example, I have something I know I need to do this week as well, I can go ahead and add that at any time. So for example, the week of 725 is the last week before I head out on a week long vacation. So absolutely one of the tasks that I'll want to do is set my vacation autoresponder in Gmail. 
and I will obviously do that Friday so that when my vacation starts on July 30th, I am all set. So before I end my work day on Friday, I like to look at exactly how many tasks I was able to complete. 11 tasks in one week. And these are big tasks. These aren't even including my recurring tasks that I do on a daily basis. I get to see what I have ahead of me next week. And I like to use this time to figure out in my schedule where I could potentially fit in this draft uh, blog post, for example, or where I could fit in this other blog draft to spread out my work and make sure that I am not doing too much each day. This particular task list also looks really manageable to me. When I see it, I don't feel overwhelmed. I don't feel stressed out. I know that there is an accomplishable amount of things to do each day. My favorite, however, is being able to revisit these notes in the future and look back and be able to track exactly what I did every single week. One thing that was really fun was being able to look back at one of my notes and see uh, when I kicked off a project that's now launching, you know, seven weeks later. So that's really cool. Uh, I love being able to manage this all straight from my task widget on home. So it's all right here next to my calendar and my weekly pinned note, all of my ideas that I'm noodling on and so much more context created in this dashboard. So that's my process. As with all workflows, it's important to find what works best for you. What worked for me might not work for you. And maybe there's part of what I did in my setup and my workflow that could potentially apply to yours as well. I like to just try it all. I will try something out that I heard uh, from an Evernote expert or from a fellow Evernote employee just to see if it could potentially work in my workflow. So I challenge you to see how you can better integrate tasks and recurring tasks into your workflow to find a great way to organize and never have that moment of panic where you're like sitting there with free time and not really sure what to do next. Um, that happens to me a lot and I always end up forgetting I could be doing something important or forgetting an idea that I really liked that I wanted to action on but didn't really have it in the right list or the right task or I didn't have a due date on it and so it just got lost into the ether of my mind. Um, so this workflow has been working for me, like I said, for seven weeks, um, which is maybe the longest thing I've ever committed to other than like my husband or my dog. So highly recommend checking it out, giving it a try, finding what works for you. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, be sure to give it a thumbs up. To see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much.